Uh, Michael Davis, uh, Peter Nikoloff, uh, thank you very much for joining us on Australian Space TV and congratulations for the 17th Australian Space Forum. Thank you, it's, yeah. a, it's a big thrill and um, we've just got final numbers and uh, we're, it was one of the, the best attended Great. forums in recent years and uh, we, we continue to receive uh, congratulations and compliments. Well look, uh, that's the first two day program, uh, so and again the 17th, so you're getting closer year by year to the, to the Magic 20 uh, as well. Are you able to disclose those numbers now? Um, we don't have the final number, oh, but, yeah. but we can say that we were slightly in front of uh, our, the last uh, forum, which was in Sydney Great, in yes. December. Beautiful. <laughs> and obviously we're here on the, on the show floor, so you had 70-odd uh, exhibitors too, and I think that provides uh, a good uh, sort of overview of the ecosystem. Uh, Peter, we met a couple of times and spoke yeah. about the program. Uh, how do you find that the program delivered, I suppose, oh, uh, it, on execution? Yeah, I've, the feedback I've had from all sorts of people has just been, it's been fantastic. And yep. mm -hmm. Interaction, because we, we had a fair, fair amount of uh, sort of uh, Q&A and, and discussion and it was all very positive and people were jumping in and talking so yeah no, nice. it was fantastic. I think uh, the other highlight for me was the Indian delegation and an Indian pavilion and I think it's really important and also a little bit more uh, sort of an international flavour today there was mm -hmm. uh, Koreans to UK uh, here as well. And don't um, forget New Zealand. And New Zealand, I beg your pardon, in fact, got, yes, absolutely, had the New Zealand Minister and yeah. Ed Husick, the Australian Minister yeah. as well, which was an, a unique opening. Um, what are sort of the key takeaways from you or any sort of deliverables that you think uh, are, is new? Um, for me, it was um, how it popular Australia is as a potential partner in space. Mm. Yes. Um, and the um, enthusiasm d displayed by the Indian delegation in particular was really impressive. Yes. Um, I think we did exceed their expectations. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, and I suppose an outlook now, uh, Peter, you've got the Australian uh, Education Forum coming up in yeah, Perth in, in, in November. Exactly. So you can take a little bit of a breather. You've also got the Canini uh, project on, so you, you're holding your breath as it is. The mission launch, uh, that's uh, right. Anyway. Yeah. Yes. But um, I suppose what's the call to action uh, for the audience to keep an eye out for the rest of the year uh, leading up to Perth? Um, well, I think the Canyoni mission is going to be a, a huge one. Yes. Um, uh, that, that launch that we're on has also got another, I think, three Australian satellites on. Yes, great. Which is super exciting. As well, soon I just as spoke to, to Carl at SmartSat CRC, so they're very, very excited. Yeah, yeah. So as soon as SmartSat, um, not SmartSat, uh, SpaceX sort out their rockets, <laughs> yes. we'll be good to go. Wonderful. Well, look, uh, Michael, uh, Peter, thank you very much for joining us again on Australian Space TV, and we look forward to the 18th Australian Space Forum uh, here in Adelaide uh, in 2025. Correct. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you, Thanks, Chris. Chris.